Does App Store Optimization work? Hello, my name is Thomas. Welcome to today's video where we are going to decode for myth around the topic of App Store Optimization. But before we jump into this, please also be sure to click on the subscribe button so you will get the notification once we have new videos live. Myth number one. Paid user acquisition works better than App Store optimization. Well, this might be true in some of the cases, but it is very important to differentiate between the both two channels. Because in the end, it doesn't matter which kind of user acquisition activities you are running, if they are outside the App Store, so for example Facebook ads, or if they are within the App Store, so for example Apple search ads, in the end, all the traffic that you will be generating will be landing on your App Store page. And if your App Store page is not optimized, you will have a really hard time to convert the traffic that you're getting to your App Store page to convert them into actual installs and users of your apps. When talking about being found within the App Stores, this already leads me to myth number two. Keywords don't matter. This is really a big, big myth, because keywords is the only thing, especially the Apple App Store, knows how your app should be found when people are searching for it. So in other words, people pick out their phones, go into the App Store, go into the search bar and they search for something that they're looking for. Maybe they want to do sports activities, maybe they want to chat with their friends, maybe they want to meet new friends. They all have this kind of ideas already in their head. They're going into the App Store, clicking into the search bar and exactly searching for words like this. And therefore it is important if your app is relevant to those keywords, you want to be found for those keywords when people are searching within the App Store. The way how you can achieve being found for relevant keywords is by putting those keywords into your App Store listing. This means you have to put keywords into the title, into the subtitle, into the keyword field and on Google Play also very important into the long description. So by putting keywords into your App Store listing, you simply say to the App Store algorithm, hey, this is my app and I want to be found for those specific keywords. But there comes also now a bit of a downside. Especially if you have new apps, it will be probably super hard to rank for very competitive keywords. For example, if you start with a new dating app, yes, for sure you want to be found for the keyword dating, but it will be super hard in the beginning. If you want to figure out which keywords might be relevant for your app and also for which keywords you have a chance actually being found for within the app stores, move over to appradar.com and create a free account, connect your app and get inspiration for keywords to use. When talking about keywords, this already leads me to myth number three, and this is Localization is only translation. First of all, what is localization? Localization means that you are translating your app store listing into other languages so people who cannot speak English also understand what your app is about and can get curious in downloading it. Why is this important? Just imagine yourself, if you're going to the city, you want to shop something, you see two grocery stores, one of them is, you see everything is in the language that you're speaking, so for example English, and the other one is a foreign language you don't understand. To which shop will you go shopping more likely? Probably the one that you understand. And kind of the same applies within the App Store. So therefore, the topic of localization is very important. But when talking about localization, this doesn't mean that you just take all the text, put it into Google Translate and then the localization work is done. It is important to understand that every country has kind of its own culture. This means they are using their own words as well they might be using their own colors with different meanings like in the country that you are living in. It is very important that you also have these topics in mind and consider them while doing the localization of your app store listing. Myth number four. App Store optimization is a one-time thing. I have to say that this probably is a myth that a lot of people have in total when it comes to the topic of online marketing, of app marketing or digital marketing. 
none of those marketing activities and also apps optimization are a one-time activity. It is an ongoing process. Why? Because in the first try that you're doing, you don't have the full understanding yet who is your perfect target audience out there. Which keywords are they using to find your app? Are the keywords that you're optimizing for really relevant? Do they bring you installs? Do they also bring you sales? So there are a lot of questions that need to be asked and also answered along the process. So therefore it is really important to understand that this is not a one-time thing. It is really an ongoing process where you monitor your keyword rankings and make constant optimization on the keywords as well as in trying to identify the user journeys even better of the people downloading your app. So to sum it up, App Store optimization is on the one hand optimizing your store listing so that you can better convert the traffic that you're getting to your store listing into actual users. And on the other hand, App Store optimization is about optimizing your keywords that you're attracting relevant users out there that are searching for an app exactly like yours. Okay, now I got a lot of users actually, but what can I do to actually retain those users? Good news, we also have a separate video exactly for this topic. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the like button if you haven't done it yet so that we can also spread the word about AppRadar even more within YouTube. Don't forget, keep optimizing. When talking about keywords, this already leads me to myth number three. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've lost track of what I wanted to say. <laughs>